Hey guys, Strings is here with another video for you today, and today we, I'm doing a bit of an odd video. I do these types of videos whenever, you know, I um, find a solution to something or have a problem to something, and I just want to, um, you know, see if I can help out a few people who may, you know, find this to be obviously helpful, and this is how to, well, mainly how to add controller support to Stallcraft. It came out a couple of days ago, and, um, Sadly, there was no controller support, even though the developers said they would get controller support. At least one of the developers, like months ago, back when the first beta test happened, or the just one of the tests happened, the first test happened for the English version of the game, they, you know, they told me there was going to be a controller support, they post postponed it, pushed it back again, and here we are. We still don't have controller support. Even Steam work, not Steam work sharp, but Steam Big Picture Mode controller Support doesn't work at all, so here's my solution I found. And uh, what you want to do is go ahead and type this in, rewazed or whatever it's called. Type it in. What you want to do is go to download. I believe it's download, right? Yeah, just download it. Get the uh, free version because there's a buy version. Here's a free version, but you want to. Get the free version, and the best part is there's a current deal going on for seven dollars. Yes, I, I know, I know it's a paid for program, but that's why I'm telling you download the free version to try it out first to see if you want it. And before the 18th comes, what is it? What three days? Yeah, three or so days. But you know, this will hopefully be up for you guys, and hopefully you'll be able to get this deal if you obviously want to get the program and use it. And currently, I don't even have the program yet. I'm still using the trial because I, you know, I was testing on water. So I don't know why my thing didn't minimize. I clicked minimize. Anyways. So yeah, what you want to do is once you get it downloaded and installed, you want to bring it up and you want to immediately activate your uh, keyboard, your mouse. I don't know why it thinks I have a second keyboard, but it does. But what you want to do is hit, I'm pretty sure it will say initiate or initialize or whatever. You want to go ahead and click that. You want to find your, you know, your keyboard. There might, your menu look might look a bit different, but you might want to just click on this and then, or detection mode and find your keyboard that you have and then hit submit. Do it with the mouse as well. And also make sure you get your controller. Obviously this is for controller support for Stallcraft, but also might work for many other games. And uh, what you want to do is go ahead, hit up here, hit add game profile. You want to type in whatever name, like, I don't know, let's just call it. Just call it that for now, just hit add. You know, add it in, and what you want to do next, go ahead, click this wand looking icon, enable it, find your controller whatever you're using it may or may not be up here this thing does regularly get updated though right now they don't have the ps5 i don't think so i guess you'll just have to go with uh uh i think this one i'm not too sure i have playstation 4 and 5 but you know whatever i don't use the controller that much but for me i got xbox one click on that and now you'll have all these Remap keybinds, all that stuff. So now you can go ahead and map everything. Obviously, for this, you want to map. Just click this. Like, click the uh, up here. Don't click the analog stick. Click the weird shaded arrow area up here. Click WASD, and now all of these will be programmed. I'm going to grab my controller. As you can see, all my controls work. All right, and for the right analog stick, you want to go ahead and click on mouse after you do that that's strange oh right sorry every time you want to do something you hit apply and then it should reboot it and there you go look at that i'm controlling the mouse with my controller right now and of course you can increase the uh sensitivity and whatnot mess around with all that stuff and of course, you have your button prompts and all that jazz, but I'm not going to use this. I'm, I'm going to actually delete this because I already have one for my version of StarCraft. Click here, hit apply. It'll apply it. 
And there you go. As you can see, I have way faster movement with this. And you'll see I have way more of my buttons mapped out. Now, I will say this. It does do uh, back buttons for most controllers. But for some reason, my I have like two extra buttons, but it's not detecting them for some reason. There's probably some way to get that to work. Like, you could probably go into the program and, you know, find some type of in-depth program. So... This has been around for quite a while, so you can probably find a tour online on how to get all your back buttons to work and stuff. But yeah, for me, I just use the basic stuff. I also have like subclasses or sub layouts. Like for example, the uh, this is the long press button, and um, instead of just having like one press, obviously if you long press it, it does. Different things like shift mode. Why does it do shift mode? Oh wait, sorry. Actually, that isn't. That isn't. It's this one. It's, I got the double press, which is Z for proning in the game. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead. After you guys, you know, done all that stuff, you can lay it out any way you want. Just learn all the controls for StarCraft and everything. I mean, I guess I could just quickly go over. I got this one as middle mouse. That's quick knife. D-pad as healing, which is C, in for night vision goggles, uh, I believe that's, what is that, that's 5 for, I believe that's my, uh, the little, the little screws you throw at anomalies to set them off, P for my PDA, this is for sprinting, of course, back button is E for my inventory, escape, obviously, is for pause menu, what else we got? I don't have anything to my left bumper yet because I didn't find any use right now. But for, oh, sorry, my left bumper. Did I say right? <laughs> but for my right bumper, I have four for one of my items. I don't remember exactly which one. So there's that. And of course, back triggers I use. This one is left mouse button. This one is right mouse button. So yeah, just reverse left to right and right to left. And obviously, you got that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's that straightforward, and the only thing you have to do is keep it minimized. And uh, let's go ahead and start up uh, the game. Anyways, as you can clearly see, we are in. We're in the game. My controls are working pretty fine. Oh, that aim, kind of weird. I can sprint. I can move. I can prone. If I do a double tap, I can go. Um, press it again I go back up crouch all right right I forgot jumping is a charge feature which is pretty cool I like that obviously X is to reload and you can also check your ammo type so that's pretty cool and double tap usually is supposed to check your thing Okay, so I help, I forgot to check all the smaller buttons. My Y long press is the switch to my pistol, or my secondary, I should say. Tapping Y once switches back to your main. But, uh, yeah. You can also, if you double tap X, inspect your gun. Also inspect my inventory. Very basic stuff right now. I only started recent, like, a couple of days ago. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I know it's a very odd video for my uh, current subscribers and whatnot, but I just wanted to make this to help you know anyone who's interested in playing this game and want to you know get all their control controller support working because I literally for the first test of this game when the first alpha or beta came out, whatever, like a couple of months ago. I guess it's not really alpha; it's like a beta test for the English servers and everything. But when that came out. I couldn't get controller support no matter what I did. I looked up many different programs to use, but nothing worked. I literally found this a couple of days ago. I was like, huh, maybe it'll work. Maybe not. Tested it, and here we are. <laughs> Here's our tutorial video on how to do that. So I have to say, pretty cool. Glad to finally get support. So I have to say, this is probably maybe a million times better than uh, Steam. <laughs> Steam's big picture mode, because one, you don't have to open up Steam Big Picture Mode, you can actually just open this up, program whatever you want. And the best part is you can use it at any time, even for regular desktop non-gaming. 
You can literally just go on your desktop and click stuff, open icons, do whatever you want with a controller from your couch. So I think that's pretty cool. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, you know, subscribe, comment down below if this helped you or not. Comment down below if you're having any issues. I'll be posting, like if anyone has any issues, I'll be posting a video that isn't mine that will be that will hopefully help you if you if you can't get like past the first part and you can't like get past like getting the controller activated because i've had a little bit of a problem with that i had to look over a few different tutorials to figure it out but found one that worked for me so hopefully you know help you out hopefully you'll be able to get set up and everything but once you get past getting the controller and everything activated the rest is piece of cake there's even like multiple layers to all this stuff. And you can obviously add different controller port support to multiple different games. Yeah, if you enjoyed, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, like I said. And as always, remember to take a step back and enjoy life. See you on the next one, guys. All right, peace.